I know, Claudia, it's like your first day. You just applied for some random job. Like, oh, maybe I'll be in charge of the pool or something. No, no. No, no, Claudia. You are the captain of this ship. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wii Hours here today playing Cruise Ship Manager, or at least the demo thereof, a little teaser, a little taste of Cruise Ship Manager. I'm pretty sure my dream job is being in charge of a giant boat full of wealthy people who need me to cater to their every whim. I'm sure this is going to go down fine, as is very common. I've done absolutely nothing with Cruise Ship Manager besides fire it up and hit record, so your guess is as good as mine. Let's get onto the open ocean. Well, we're here and it's it's not much of a boat. Let's be honest here. We've got, I assume, some sort of control area here where the boat goes vroom, vroom, vroom. And there's a staircase and I believe we've got a casino over here. So great start so far. Nowhere for anyone to actually sleep or eat or do anything at all. We're in apparently Barcelona right now. I'm being encouraged to plan my cruise, but I want to kind of look at things here. I got 40k in money. I've got 2,000 reputation of some sort. I've got fuel, and I've got some provisions. I have no idea how long 500 provisions is going to last. Probably very, very long, because we don't have anywhere for people to eat. Utilities. What exactly is it that you want me to know about utilities? Ah, you'd like me to build a crew cabin. Sensible. Very, very sensible. That's going to provide, what, uh, it's 2,000 bucks to do that. All right, well, throw it in somewhere. Next to the casino? No, it's probably a bad idea. Uh, let's have the crew live over here. I've successfully built my first room. You are entirely correct about that. And just because I had the option, I put down a narrow corridor. I don't know what that does. I mean, I do know what corridors do. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with them. But I don't know why I need this. Is it maybe separate the rooms together? We should probably have places for people to actually sleep. Small cabin left, small cabin right. And then large and, and large again. Okay, 750 to build it, and I can change the color a little bit. Well, sure, we'll probably do that. Let's get one of these down. How about, well, right up on the top. That seems like a sensible place for a cabin, right? How about another one? Why are you giving me big red X's? I'm very concerned about this. Let's see if we can hire somebody. Maybe that'll help us along in terms of why our ship doesn't work yet. So we've got a bridge, and we need two people in that. There's two work spots. Okay, a captain and a janitor. Really, that's it? That's all you need to pilot a ship, is one captain and a guy to clean up after him. Engineer's room, we need, you know, no surprise, three engineers there. All right, what have I got here? Tom, Tom, you are very, very good at gastronomy, which is not surprising because we're geared for gastronomy. Uh, what else could we have? Entertainment service, all right, safety. Safety is good, we like safety. Organizing, caution. Wait, filter by caution, I want to see who comes up. Dominic, are you good at caution? Uh, engineering safety. I don't, actually, I don't actually see your caution thing. I'm going to hire Alex Strawberry because I like your name. You're level four at gastronomy, so you can't be that bad. One out of three that I have hired. I assume that is based on my one crew cabin. How about service? Who could we hire for service? That seems like something we should do. Claudia, Claudia Pineapple and Alex Strawberry could go with Nicola Grape and Suzanne Coconut. I see what you're doing here, game. I'm totally hiring Claudia. Uh, Claudia, you're in for things. You go do service with people. Uh, engineering? Sure, we probably need one of them, right? Camilla Strawberry. Now, see, we've already got a strawberry, Camilla. Yeah, your brother Alex is already here, so I'm going to probably have to hire Raphael Cherry. Unfortunately, that has not made my red X's go away, so I'm going to build some more things and see what happens. I'm going to do a bunch more cabins up here. I hope we get a bigger boat at some point. This, I'm sure this is all going to work out fine. Uh, put that there and put that there. I can't put anything there, but could I put the... Oh, a restroom. Yeah, people should totally have one of those and a restaurant. Oh, yeah, I've kind of skipped out on the basics, really, haven't I? Uh, how about a restaurant? And then I'll do a male restroom, a female restroom, and a gender-neutral restroom. Okay, you can have all of those. Um, I'm thinking I'm missing stairs. I think this is probably the thing that I don't have. An elevator. Okay, can I... I can't put that in the middle 
of here. What if we put this here, here? I'm not gonna have any money left in two seconds, am I? And I'm filling this out with a narrow corridor just because I wanted to fill up the space there. Okay, uh, cruise planner mode. Yay, where are we gonna go from Barcelona? Choose your route and then go into the build mode to modify the ship. Okay, this is overly optimistic. So doesn't look like we can go very far. We can go to Livorno here or to Crete. Well, that sounds fun. Let's go there. We're going to go through all of this down to the... This is the Mediterranean, right? Yeah, that looks very Mediterranean. And then what are we doing? Reputation of 100. Well, we've got way more than that. Ticket price of 50 bucks? For a cruise? Are you insane? 50... Tack a couple of decimal points onto that minimum. Okay, well, confirm that. Are we ready to go? Can we... Can we make the... Can we make the boat go? I've got all these red X's. I don't know what they do exactly. Should I get more crew? I should probably get more crew. What else is in here? Entertainment. Nothing. I can't do... Ah, I can do an indoor swimming pool. Oh, yeah. Let's get one of them. Oh, wow. That is larger than I expected. Okay. That's a, that's a big old pool right next to the elevator. You can just go out of the elevator and dive right into the pool. Uh, utilities. What have we got? Crew cabins again. I feel I need another one of these. I think we need more crew. I don't think I have nearly enough crew. Do we actually have a captain? I mean, apart from me. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have no nautical experience. I don't know. Boat goes floaty floaty and that's all I got. I'm going to hire somebody for safety because it's my ship. So the Raspberry family, you can come in. Uh, Nick, go, go ahead and hire you. I've got three or two more people, rather, that I can hire. How about somebody for entertainment? I'm just going to kind of get one of each. Suzanne Coconut, you sound entertaining. So I'm going to hire you for that. And then what else are we possibly la organizing? I mean, it's a little bit off-brand for me, but sure, Nicola Grape, you can organize things. I'm going to bump up the ticket price because I think 50 bucks is just ridiculous. Oh, I can only go up to 65. All right, only 65. This is a three-star difficult cruise two days. All right, well, you know, maybe the ticket is a little cheap if it's only two days. I will allegedly get 300 reward if everyone doesn't die on the high seas. I'm going to advertise with flyers because there's nothing that people love more than having what is effectively litter shoved in their face and told to read that. Uh, sell tickets? Not all the rooms on the ship are connected. Use corridors and elevators. Ah! That's my problem. Okay. Well, I've done a bit of a redesign over here. I've wrecked everything. I've sold off all of my stuff except the crew cabins because I didn't want to go through and have to rehire everyone. Started to get a little bit of a handle on how the corridor elevator thing works. So it seems like every room has to be connected to some kind of corridor. And then I can put elevators sort of around that to get people from A to B. So if I put up my cabins again. Let's just do the small cabin right here. All right. Does that work? That works. Okay. Let's do that and that. And then I assume that will work there and there. And I could probably just keep that going along. It seems like so long as the first one is connected to a corridor, everything else falls into line. You are clearly, although you have a corridor, you're not connected to this corridor all the way over here. We're going to work with that, and I should definitely get the engineering room connected to something. Otherwise, I don't think we're leaving the dock. Let's try the restaurant thing again. Okay, restaurant in here. Yep, and that is working. And then the restrooms could go kind of along this way. You know, after you're done with your meal, you, know, you might need to stop off at the restroom. All right, so yellow, yellow is good. Ye it's kind of an off green, really, isn't it? It's a yellowish green. It's not really totally yellow. It's mostly yellow. It's definitely not that green, but it is a little greenish. Anyway, this color, good. That's the color I'm looking for when I'm trying to place these rooms. All right, well, let's go back to cabins. Uh, how about we did a larger one? Let's do a larger cabin there and there, and then maybe a couple more of those like that, and then come in the smaller ones like this. Okay, there's nothing else I can get in there except more corridors. Well, you know what? Flesh it out. Now, I want to reinvestigate the indoor swimming pool, because if I put this guy here, that's going to work out just fine. All right, now we're getting somewhere. 
Now this ship is kind of coming together here. What am I lacking? There's really nothing else in entertainment. Services I've got covered, cabins I've got covered, utilities, got some crew cabins, and got elevators. So all I need to do now is connect all of this somehow together so everyone can get from A to B. Let's just do more cabins then. I mean, that's where the money's gonna come from, right? And then the large one could go, say, here and here. Sorry you have to live near the engineer's hut, I guess. Uh, oh, I'm out of money. Right, yeah, that's a problem. Um, do I have enough to get a small corridor in there? Because otherwise, um, that, that's about it really, isn't it? Okay, good, everything's connected there, except the engineering room. That's a problem. All right, do I have enough to just do the wide corridor? Uh, I don't even need that one. Let's do that one. Okay, not what I wanted, but it works. I don't have any... Oh, hang on. This doesn't work. What is that? Is that just a... That's just a corridor. Who cares? Just get rid of it. I need the money anyway. There we go. Nobody cares if that corridor is there or not. Okay, this boat should work. Can I now set sail? Let's try selling some tickets. Okay, yeah, people were into that. Not not as much money as I might ideally like. Okay, 1300 bucks. Ooh, this is going to be a rough, rough ride. I hope these people are not expecting gourmet food. Uh, back to the cruise planner. No. Can we just go and set sail? Are we, are we ready to go here? Back to the harbor, please. Yes, I am ready to set sail. Thank you. Off we go. Yep. Okay, off we go. Yay! There's like four people in here. Uh, what do you want me to know? Assigning work slots. Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, and we are off, too. We're moving. We're going places. Uh, what is your problem here? What's what's going on? I see a thing. Room management, sure. Something is wrong with the bridge. All right, I probably have to, you know, have somebody in here. Uh, what do you need me to know? Ah, you need a captain. Yeah. Yeah, we should have a captain. I didn't really, um... I didn't really think about that. Apparently, organization is what we want. I think I hired one person for organizing. Uh, who was that? Was that Claudia? Yeah, Claudia, congratulations. I know, Claudia, it's like your first day. You just applied for some random job. Like, oh, maybe I'll be in charge of the pool or something. No, 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 Claudia. You are the captain of this ship. Uh, good luck. Best of luck. I hope you know something about boats, because I don't. Now, let's see if we can get a janitor in here, too. Uh, Raphael, you're pretty good at janitorizing. Work with Captain Claudia here. Uh, sure, yeah, locate some dirt. Okay, you want to get on that, Chief? Oh, hang on, I think there was a patrol I'm supposed to send. What? Whoa, 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 what's the problem here? Oh, there's nobody. <laughs> there's nobody manning the engineering area. No, we should We should probably do that. Uh, three of them, you say. Yeah, I'm not equipped for that. I, I don't. I don't have anything that's going to do what we need to do right now. Uh, this, this boat is going to crash. It's a, boats boats do that, right? Oh, somebody got plus three happiness over there, though. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed that the boat has no engineers right now. Um, let's see, Raphael's in charge. It can't be... No. Uh, Suzanne, I know we hired you to entertain people, but you're an engineer now. Congrats. Everybody needs to go be an engineer, please. I, I, I've got like six people running this thing. Yeah, I know. It's it's not really, It's not really working out, is it? You're terrible at engineering, and you're terrible at engineering. You're the only good one at engineering here. Uh, let's send a patrol, and we'll go, um, not engineering, no, Raphael. I want you to go on patrol. Off you go. I think you're off and running. Hopefully you're going to go clean things. That is basically what I need a janitor to do. Yeah, I know. Nothing has anything. Nothing has anything. I've got six people running this entire ship. This was very poorly chosen on my part. Nobody, nobody should be surprised by that. Um, but that's all I could afford. I was trying to... I got empty rooms, don't I? I didn't even need all of these cabins. What happened to you? You... What? Whoa, whoa. Come here, you. Paul Coconut. What happened to you? You just sort of exploded and then you went on your way there. What you going off to do? You go to the pool? Because you're low on fun. That's like our only fun thing around here. I bet you're going to the pool. Yeah, you're going in the elevator. All right, and are you going to go down to the restaurant or the pool or what's your move here, Paul? Uh, people are basically hating the restaurant, by the way, because nobody works there. There's a reason you hate the restaurant. Literally nobody works here. It's just self-serve. It's like a buffet, kind of, except nobody's actually cooking any food. Um, Alex, you're it. 
I don't even know what exactly it is you do for a living. You've got gastronomy of four. That can't be that bad. Yeah, Raphael is currently a janitor, and Claudia is in charge of the entire ship, so we can't reassign her. Okay, that may have helped a little bit. Uh, you know, we're here. Alex is here, working in the kitchen. It's going to take forever because we have no servers. I, I probably should have planned my staff slightly better than this. Oh, Claudia is being very, very diligent. She's got binoculars out. She's looking, looking at the ocean to see, you know, what, what is in it. Oh, there's a raft. Oh, we should get that guy. Hang on. Man overboard or something. Uh, oh, no, they're already gone. Oh, somebody was playing a survival game and we missed them. Claudia, you should have had the binoculars out looking for them. There was a guy on a raft. There's another guy on a raft. Claudia, I'm pretty sure there's a shipwreck up here somewhere. There's a box. Oh, always grab the boxes, Claudia. There's always good loot in those. I think we probably could have done without the pool. I'm just saying. Everyone is very, very irate here. Yeah, you're having no fun. And you're thirsty. Apologize for bad service. How about I apologize for no service? There is no service here. Absolutely none. Wait, I have to choose somebody to apologize? Oh, have the captain apologize. This is all Claudia's problem. If she'd picked up that box of loot, there might have been some food in there. Oh, yeah, check it out. She's actually going down there. Yeah, she's going down to apologize. That's kind of cool. It's not just sort of like, we'll send you a note kind of thing. She's actually personally going down to apologize to literally everyone. What's with the little party icons? Are we having a birthday party down here or something? Sir, sir, sir. You have to be clothed in the restaurant, okay? There was a sign on the door. I know the pool is right downstairs. I get it. You came out of the pool. You're like, oh, I'm just going to have a quick bite to eat, not really knowing that their restaurant is largely unfunctional. But you just came up in your Speedo to sit at a table and have a meal with these other people and wait and be irate like they are. Sir, you have to wear clothes in the restaurant. It's like a health code thing. Oh, good. Something is broken. Yay. Um, can some of our non-engineer people handle that sort of thing? What What is broken? Is it the pool? Is the, po yeah, is the pool broken? Oh, wait, it costs money for them to use the pool. I could make it free, but I'm not going to. Huh. Interesting. I could bump that up, too. Wait, can I charge money for the restrooms? Hang on. Hang on. I can. I can. Okay, this is how it all comes together. This is how I make all of this work, is it's now um, a lot of money to you. Ah, 30 is my max. Okay, uh, this one, come here. You need to be also 30. Yep, no, thir oh, I can get, why can I get more? Oh, hang on. I was going to ask, why can I get more for this one? This is the gender neutral one. The women's one, I max out at 30. How about the men's one? Does that also max out at 30? It does. Is the gender-neutral one a nicer bathroom? Does it just have more cool stuff in it? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, one way or another, I'm getting more money out of that one. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. There's nothing to eat. There's no servers. The pool is broken. Uh, it's actually green. It is, in fact, green right now. And it's a lot of money to use the restroom. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, again, you need to be putting clothing on to come into the restaurant. Thank you. All right, nobody can use this room. Uh, let's... I don't have a lifeguard. I don't have a lifeguard. Why would you think I have a lifeguard? Can we send a patrol of anyone? Uh, send Raphael. Maybe it's a janitorial issue. I don't... I hope it is. It looks like it is. Oh, Raphael just came down and cleaned the pool. So it's not green anymore. That's got to be a pretty good thing, right? Uh, everyone else's room is green. This one is green and has bugs. Oh, this, this ain't good. Raphael can't take care of all of this. This is ridiculous. Um, all right, try and send Raphael. I'm sorry, Raphael. You're the only janitor in the entire ship, boat, ship. It's bigger. Yeah, sh ship is big. Okay, what's the thing? You can put a boat on a ship, but you can't put a ship on a boat. All right, uh, Raphael, when you're done, can you get over to this one, please? Uh, Claudia, why are you flashing at me? What What's going on here? Why do you have a little thing? Got like a little cell phone icon above your head there. Is there something I'm supposed to be knowing about you? Hopefully not. I, I have no ability to pilot this ship. You're back on the binoculars. You're still missing a bunch of those rafts and boxes. Where is, um, where is Raphael these days? I've sent him on a long, long journey to try and clean up every single room that exists. Oh, this is, this is just awful. How's the engineering going, kids? Oh, it looks like things are broken. Neat. Happiness of passengers is, in fact, 
Zero. I can't even get one star out of this. I have zero stars. Not only do people not like this ship, they actively hate it. I fear mutiny, frankly. I, th I think mutiny is coming. The passengers are going to rise up, storm the deck. Claudia is done, because all she does is look outside with the binoculars. All right. How did we... How did we do there? Not... Not as good as I might like. Um, we're down 771 bucks, which I believe means I have negative money right now. Our goal was a mere, a mere two and a half star happiness. I could not even get that. I have zero, zero final happiness. Yet somehow our reputation went up. The only thing I can think of is the people got out of the ship and said, well, this cruise line will be bankrupt tomorrow morning, so that makes us pretty happy. Well, finishing out our delightful little cruise here in Crete, and I think Dave's awesome cruise line is totally done. I have 588 bucks left. I can't afford to clean the rooms. I can't afford to fix the rooms. I certainly can't afford to hire anyone to deal with all of this nonsense. I think we'll have to call it a day on Cruise Ship Manager. But you know what? I, I kind of dig it. I get the vibe of it. I could see going back in and actually trying to do this somewhat correctly, or at least profitably. I want to see how much I can really charge for those bathrooms. I'd love to see a bigger boat in the future. I mean, let's let's do this right. Let's make a massive, massive cruise ship and put all of that together. Guys, do please let me know in the comments what you thought of Cruise Ship Manager. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.